anytime a player returns to play their former team after they've been traded, there's maybe a little bit extra there. But just what did you think of what Alex Verdugo was able to do tonight? Yeah, um, <laughs> that's really impressive. You know, I've, I've been there where you go back and play, and, and I, just from my experience, it's just it's odd. It's hard to normalize things. And, you know, he was very calm before the game. I almost felt like, in my mind, maybe he was a little nervous or what. And, uh, he, he came right out and delivered a punch on the first pitch and, and didn't stop. And uh, pretty impressive performance, um, knowing that it meant a lot to him. He had mentioned on the field that maybe today he was even more focused than he had normally been, and it felt like he was dialed in maybe even earlier with the support of his teammates. Did you sense that out of him at all? I did. I did. I sensed a, just a little, little more calm, a little quieter. But I actually thought it might have been a little bit nervous, and uh, he was just really, really focused. Um, you know, as, as he talks about it, moving slow but aggressively and, um, you know, put some great swings in the ball tonight. This team has done a great job striking first often this season, but when he does it like that, knowing what it means to him, just how much does that pump up and elevate the rest of the team? Yeah, a, a lot. Uh, that room loves each other. They love playing with each other. They love competing with each other. And uh, so they know, you know, they knew what it meant to, for him coming back tonight. And when he delivered that blow, um, there's no question, um, you know, it was a big time shot of energy in our in our dugout. Well, 50 and 22, I guess you couldn't have drawn it up too much better than that. Huh? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, they can't take those off the board. So, you know, you, you got to get them while you can. And these guys have played outstanding baseball to start the season. Um, we, but, you, you know, we know that's all it is. It's the start to the season. And we got a long, long way to go. Um, but we've, you know, we've continued to lay a really good foundation for our season. And uh, just got to keep at it. Verdugo is such a high energy guy. Did you? feel the need to talk to him at all before coming back here or you just sort of leave me? No, I didn't feel the need necessarily to talk to him, but I was paying attention to him. Like, you know, keeping my, uh, just keeping my eye on him a little more so and, you know, you know, my touch, you know, my touch points with him and touching base with him. Um, just, just making sure he was good and all, but not a need to like pull him in and talk to him. Kind of likes that flair for the dramatic. Yeah, he likes the action, man. He likes, you know, he's, he's a gamer. You know, that's that's what I've always kind of admired about him, just from the other side the last few years. Like, um, and that's what he's brought over here. Well, good at bats from Rizzo tonight. You pretty encouraged what he's done the last three years. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. He's moving the needle. You know, I mean, even going back to the first game out after the off day where he didn't get any, you know, it was, it was a few off the barrel, albeit on the ground. The next day, just better takes, you know, moving slower in the box, you know, not as rushed um, and getting some results, you know, really good at bat off the lefty there when they come in in that situation to get to 2-1 and then really stick a heater in the hole there. Um, yeah, it's definitely something to build on. Um, but but a nice few days for him. What were you seeing with heel and his command tonight? Yeah, just off. I mean, fortunately, he had a lot of deception, um, and his stuff was outstanding. I mean, it was electric. He was, he, you know, he had, he probably had some adrenaline. You know, my, I'm assuming that's his first time here. No. Um, oh. I don't. Has he been here? You know, so. You know, I'm sure he, he was feeling that a little bit. And I mean, it was, look, his stuff's always pretty electric. Tonight it felt maybe even a little bit more. But, you know, at times harnessing that um, was a little tougher. So obviously he ran his pitch count up. They were patient with him. They, they took some really good at bats against him. But in the end, he's just, he's hard to string together things against because he's just so difficult to hit. So, um, you know, all in all, Another really strong outing, just a little shorter tonight. His change was hitting 95 at, at times. Is that uh, you know a little amped up? Maybe is that kind of what you were speaking yeah, about? You know, I th we saw some hundreds fastball. I, I don't think we've seen that a lot. You know, he's more in that kind of 96, 7, 8. Typically, it was more 97 to 100 tonight. And you know, I, th I think the changeups followed suit too. So, uh, you know, it was quality. It was just you know, 
getting them in the zone a little bit. Yeah, well, you were obviously busy, but did you see Cole struck out 10 and 4 and a third? They told me. I actually watched his first two innings um, uh, before we went out. Um, and then they told me, what, 4 and a third, 10? That's pretty good. Is that the best you've seen? Ferguson gets a big out for you in the sixth, and then four batters, four strikeouts. Yeah, that was big. I mean, that's that's the point of the game, too, when we kind of had to shut it down. Um, that was their, you know, they were stringing it together. You know, Tommy puts a couple guys on, and to Tommy's credit, gets two big outs when he's 3-2 to the third guy, I think, too. Gets two big outs, but Fergie coming on and, and going through the top of their order there um, kind of shut the game down in a lot of ways. So that was... Uh, Big for us, big for him. Bolton just kind of shaking up there at third. Up the steal. Yeah, he kind of. I think he cut himself a little bit above the ear, uh, just going in there. I don't know if his helmet cut him or or what, but yeah. So uh, with ten straight games with uh, two times on base at least. Uh, ten. Ten. I think it was. I read the notes. As I oh. hope that's right from Jason. It's, um, <laughs> it's uh, pretty consistent and amazing, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, he's playing, you know, what, what him and Judgey are doing is just another level from everyone. Um, and, and Juan's ability to get on over and over again and just, it's just such a good at bat all the time, you know. Um, that's 10, two times, or, that's impressive. I didn't even realize that. Who's the MVP so far? <clears throat> Probably you, John. <laughs> yeah, those two innings you watched Cole, were you pretty impressed? Did he look... Major League ready to you? I know you probably would like him for 70 pitches to get more than four and a third, but pretty dominating. Yeah, I mean, well, anytime you're going to strike out 10, it's tough to get, you know, too deep. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I, I think he's looked good the, kind of the whole time. And, uh, yeah, so encouraging that he had another one. And, you know, I'm sure it was a, you know, good environment being on the road. Up in Rochester, I heard it was standing room only, biggest crowd ever. So I'm sure there was a buzz around it, obviously. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we have tomorrow. But glad he got through it and, and obviously performed well. Aaron, back to heel for a second. That fifth inning, you had Gonzalez warming back to back lefties coming up for the Red Sox. What made you stick with, with heel there? Obviously worked out. Um, what type of confidence can that give still a, a young pitcher? Yeah, I, I always feel like, you know, if he's got something left, like, it's hard to find a better option. He's just, if he's, if he's, you know, the one thing you worry about is just, you know, tonight being a little bit out of the strike zone and the walks, but, you know, as long as, you know, he's got some pitches left and I feel like the stuff is there, you know, I treat that a little bit different.